Pogba now, I see Usman Dembele making a great run, go on Dembele, fake shot inside, still Usman Dembele shoots and it's in, this could be an important goal in the title race, could this be the goal that gets us back in the race? Lingard finding Rashford, now it is Saul with a big chance, weak foot shoots and scores, we've actually taken the lead against Bayern at the Allianz Arena. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 32 of the Manchester United Career Mode Series. We've got the Champions League semi-finals in today's episode. Manchester United versus PSG. Both legs will be in this episode, so you guys will find out if we can get to the finals in this series. Of course, last season, we were in a similar situation. Champions League semi-finals. Unfortunately, Real Madrid knocked us out. Can we get one step further in season two? I hope, I really, really hope it's going to be two incredibly difficult games against PSG. It's not all about the Champions League though, we've got the FA Cup semi-final game against West Ham and even some Premier League action in this episode. Only one point separates us from Everton, so Premier League, every game is a final. We really are in the business end of the season where every game is important. We cannot afford to lose. If you guys are enjoying this Manchester United career mode, drop a like on the video. Let's try and hit 1,000 likes. That'll be absolutely fantastic. And tell you what, if you guys smash out 1,000 likes, an episode tomorrow guaranteed for you guys. So drop a like on the video and make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 19 career mode content. Starting off the episode with a press conference as we normally do. And if you guys want to get involved in these pressers, make sure to drop in your questions down in the comment section below. Will you do a season 3? This is a question that's been asked so many times. A lot of you guys interested to know what's going to happen with this Man United career mode. And I can confirm that there is going to be a season 3 of this Man Manchester United career mode and I think it's going to be a lot of fun and challenging at the same time because we won't have Ronaldo in season 3 and we're going to have to deal without him and it's going to be a lot of fun seeing the challenges we'll face and that's why season 3 will most definitely happen so hopefully you guys are excited for that. Next question, what are your thoughts on Felix's performance in the UEFA Europa League in real life? So for those of you guys who don't know, Jean Felix scored a hat-trick in the Europa League quarterfinals against Frankfurt and it was a brilliant hat-trick. His second goal was just something sensational and what a player he is. I think he's going to be a big talent in the future and big clubs are definitely going to want him. A wonder kid I think is the best way to describe him and I'm really enjoying using him in this series as well and let's hope he continues to perform for us as well as Benfica in real life. Moving on, can you do a low budget career mode with teams like Wolves or Everton? I've actually seen so many comments like this asking me to do a career mode with, you know, in general weaker teams or teams not doing that well or teams in the second division. And I can tell you this for now, something along those lines is coming very soon to the channel. I'll be bringing rebuilds to the channel for the first time. Of course, credit to Jared HD for coming up with that concept. We're going to be doing rebuilds and all that. It's going to be a bit different to his series, but you guys will find out more very soon. But I'm so excited for that. For now though, let's just continue focusing on the Man United career mode. That's it for the press conference. Let's move on. Usman Dembele had a brilliant episode, scored a few goals, got himself a few assists as well. And that's that. You guys voted for Dembele and he is your player of the episode. A quick season goals update. There's nothing much we can do with these three challenges. We're already done with the record breaker one, so that's awesome. But we still have a few challenges we can complete. The French connection, just two more contributions needed from our French players and we'll be done with that as well. Ronaldo is the top scorer in the Champions League at this moment, so I'm hoping these two objectives we can complete so then we won't have to do any sort of forfeit. We start off the episode with some FA Cup action against West Ham. Now West Ham is the same team that knocked us out from the FA Cup itself last season so this is an opportunity for us to get some revenge on them and hopefully progress on to the finals. You guys know I've taken the FA Cup really seriously this time around. It's a competition I absolutely want to win so let's get the job done against West Ham. It's Manchester United versus West Ham, Wembley Stadium, FA Cup semi-finals and this is how the team is lining up. Now because we've got the huge Champions League game against PSG in midweek, I've of course rotated the team so you've got a lot of the youngsters playing but they deserve to be here. They are the players that got us to this point 
and they are the players that are going to get us to the finals hopefully so you've got Mason Greenwood, Jao Felix, Neves, Awad, Lingard all of them starting this one and look at how good our second team actually is it's actually amazing we've got De Gea in goal as well just to give us that stability and our team is looking brilliant they should honestly get the job done so let's get right into it on the attack we go once again now Chong is in behind go on still Chong puts in a cross back to Lingard who shoots and that's in I think crossing was the wrong option there but it still somehow worked and it's Jesse Lingard the man who scored the most goals this season for us in the FA Cup bagging another one and it's a big goal boys Manchester United take the lead in the FA Cup semi-finals 1-0 advantage to us that pass from Neves to Chong was superb and then look at that for a finish from Lingard first time bang what a goal West Ham suddenly putting us under a lot of pressure as it's Bonaventura who shoots and there you go it's 1-0 game on West Ham have equalized Bonaventura the Italian playing for West Ham an interesting transfer it's gonna get even more difficult now going forwards because West Ham has been the better side since we scored they're, they're definitely up for this one let's see what happens though going forwards we need to be really careful and we need to take our chances Oh no, we could see Marega finding Felipe Anderson who shoots, forcing De Gea to make a cracking save there. West Ham do have the corner, we know they're decent with set pieces, Diop's header thankfully above the crossbar. This is getting intense and we just haven't done anything post our goal that we scored early on in the first half. We need to wake up. The pressure building up here from West Ham, it's Felipe Anderson who shoots, drives his shot, De Gea makes the save and on the rebound, somehow we've managed to avoid conceding there, it hit the post then hit De Gea and it was just chaos all round, let's have a look at that, Yarmolenko shoots, I think his first shot hit the post and then it hit De Gea then Upamecano and went out, absolute scenes man, West Ham have been the better team, we really need to wake up. Not good guys, West Ham again with the chance and Felipe Anderson with a brilliant goal. West Ham have taken the lead. We could be getting kicked down from the FA Cup once again. And it's that man again, Felipe Anderson. Last season, if I'm not wrong, he was the man that scored against us. And it looks like it's happening again. We need to do something. We really need to change our tactics or just something around. Because so far, it's been all West Ham. So I'm making two very interesting changes. First of all, Awad goes off because of the knock he's picked up. So Lingard will be playing in the central midfield position. Mason Greenwood in the center forward role. And Marcus Rashford, who I've just substituted, is going to be playing as our striker. Can Rashford save our FA Cup dreams? Chong there could cross. Very good cross played in Marcus Rashford. No, the header is not on target from that position. Rashford... He's got to keep it on target at the very least. Mason Greenwood now finding Lingard. Here we go on the attack. Back to Greenwood. It's now Marcus Rashford. He should score this. No, what? How has he missed that? I literally just tapped the shoot button. What? That's probably the miss of the season in such a big game. Marcus Rashford has completely fluffed his lines. That's a huge chance wasted. It's now Chong. Probably one of our last chances of this game. Here goes Chong. I'm trying to look for the cutback. It's Jao Felix. Oh no, it's off the crossbar. I cannot believe this. It's off the crossbar in the 90th minute. How unlucky can we get? We've had all the chances in the second half, but the ball just wouldn't go in. I genuinely cannot believe this. We've had way more chances than them, at least towards the end of this game. And proper good clear-cut chances, yet we wasted all of them. I am genuinely disappointed with myself here. Hopefully this form doesn't carry over to the PSG games because otherwise we could actually end up trophyless this season, which is genuinely embarrassing. Well, a bit of good news. Awar's injury isn't too serious. He's only going to be out for the next five days or so with a bruised shoulder. I'm so frustrated, man. It could have been us facing Man City in a Manchester Derby FA Cup final, but it just wasn't to be. Such a disappointment, man. I apologize for playing that way in that game. But anyways, we cannot really focus on that defeat too much now because we've got the first leg of the Champions League semi-finals. Ronaldo will be playing in this game. Dembele will be playing in this game. We've got all the big names back and we need to get a positive result at Old Trafford if we've got any chance of going through. I want to get to that finals, guys. I want to make an improvement to last season. So we have to get there. Manchester United versus PSG up next. Manchester United versus PSG in the Champions League semi-finals. And this is how I'm lining up my team. Ronaldo starting up front as the lone striker, captaining the team, Pogba and Cam. And besides that, our team is basically the strongest I can put forward at this point. Usman Dembele, though, starting ahead of Rashford. Rashford's going to be our super sub, but we've got Tierney, Umtiti, Manolas, Casemiro, all starting this one. 
Let's go for it, man. If we can avoid conceding a goal here and maybe scoring a couple, it could be huge for that second leg. So let's get right into it. So this is the PSG team and they've got some world-class players. I'm not sure how they're going to line up their team because they've got four forwards and on the bench they've got the likes of Guntogan, Aspas. So it's a 4 triple 2 formation. Icardi, Cavani, Neymar, Mbappe. What even is that attack? They've got Verratti, they've got a strong defense. That is one of the most difficult teams I've ever faced in any career mode so far. Like, what on earth have PSG done? They've made some big, big moves. No wonder they're in the Champions League semi-finals. This is going to be such a challenge. Oh, here we go on the attack now, trying to exploit the fact that Munir is in the fastest of players. And here goes Martial. Cut back to Ronaldo. What a chance for Ronaldo. Shoots, and that's in. We've scored against the run of play. Manchester United have taken the lead against PSG. Before this attack, we didn't even enter the PSG half. It was all PSG. Crossing it in, moving forward with Neymar. One counter attack and we score. This is actually unbelievable. Cristiano Ronaldo, it had to be that man once again who puts us into the lead against PSG. And fantastic counter attack as well. Martial with the cutback of dreams and then Ronaldo did all the work there. Left foot again and it's a goal. What an important goal this is for the tie. We now have the advantage. Usman Dembele bringing the ball inside now. Go on, Dembele sees Paul Pogba. Chance for him now, Pogba. Right foot and it's in. We've made it 2-0 against PSG. Who would have thought? How on earth have we managed to lose to Fulham to just go suddenly 2-0 up against PSG? Like, what's going on? Manchester United in fine form as we now have a 2-0 advantage against PSG. Absolutely brilliant play as well. Dembele cutting inside is just unbelievable. Then he just feeds Pogba perfectly, who got it onto his right foot, and then a sublime finish, and it's 2-0 Manchester United. What an advantage this is in the first half itself. Let's keep it going. Now the objective is to not concede. Looks like PSG now charging forward. Icardi finding Mbappe. Mbappe with the skills there. Still Mbappe shoots and it's off the post. We get lucky but the ball still hasn't been cleared away. PSG would have been right back into the game if that would have gone in. And now Icardi shoots and thankfully De Gea saves. It's been an electric game so far. How on earth is this even happening? We are 2-0 up against PSG in the first leg. I did not expect this, but I think we deserve it. We were brilliant on the counter-attack. Yes, PSG probably deserved a goal, but overall, I feel like Manchester United were the better side. Let's keep it going, and if we can avoid conceding in that second half, it could be massive for our chances to get to the final. And now PSG doing what they do best, attacking against us. Here's Mbappe beats one. Still Mbappe with the skills. De Gea again forced to make a save. Mbappe is just so threatening, man. He's such a difficult player to defend against because of all the skills. PSG really keeps keeping possession well in this second half and I feel like something needs to change. Let's bring on some extra pace with Marcus Rashford. I've brought off Saul and Pogba will be playing as my box-to-box -box CM. Hopefully this works. If we can get a third goal without conceding, that could be job done. Icardi now shoots and oh my god off the post once again. We've honestly been so lucky in this game here against PSG. It's actually mad. They could have easily equalized by now but the luck is with us. Not good, Cavani linking up well with Mbappe who shoots, but De Gea who's been in inspired form all game long with another sensational save. It's still 2-0 to Manchester United. I genuinely don't know how PSG haven't scored in this one. Oh, here goes Marcus Rashford. PSG have went all out attack, now it's Rashford. Probably 1v1 with Buffon. Come on, Rashford. He should score this. Marcus Rashford brilliantly done. He beat Buffon in a 1v1 situation. And now Manchester United are leading 3-0 against PSG. How on earth is this game gone this way? Because PSG in the second half, definitely better than us. They created all the chances, but then that all-out attack strategy just completely just got destroyed by Marcus Rashford on the counter-attack with that pace and my decision to bring him on I guess worked perfectly look at that for a finish as well we've actually done it at Old Trafford Champions League semi-finals we've beaten PSG 3-0 it wasn't the most convincing of performances I feel like PSG deserved at least two or three goals in this game but we got really lucky defensively and going forwards on the counter-attack we were absolutely perfect three great goals and Manchester United take a huge advantage to France 3-0 I feel like we should be able to get to the Champions League final now from this position. We cannot bottle it.
It's actually unreal. Who would have thought we'd be beating PSG 3-0 in the first leg? I can't wait for the second leg. We are so close to making that Champions League final. And it looks like it's going to be Atletico Madrid that we'll face. Because they have gotten themselves a 1-0 win over Madrid. Back to the Premier League we go. Our next game is against Newcastle United at home. And you guys know every game in the Premier League right now is the final. Newcastle are going to be a tough opponent because they are in 8th place. The difference between us and Everton is only a point. So we need them to drop just one game and I think we can go top of the league. So let's get the job done against Newcastle. This is how we're lining up against Newcastle in the Premier League. I've made quite a few changes to rest a few players but we've still got a few key players involved. Ronaldo starts this one. Pogba as well. I might bring them off around about the 60th minute but I want them involved to you know help us secure the result. Ja Felix, Marcus Rashford all starting as well. It's a strong team and I expect to get the win. Well Newcastle pushing forward now. Good ball. Bailly gets it away. Not really though as Ki Sung Yong shoots and De Gea again with a big save. De Gea has been brilliant so far in this episode. Not good. Newcastle really creating a lot of chances. De Gea again with a brilliant save. De Gea has been in fine form lately, which is great. We need him to, you know, continue making saves like this if we've got any shot at winning the Premier League as well as the Champions League. Not good. Looks like one of our players is down. De Gea makes a save again and it's what? A penalty? For what? A penalty for what? What just happened here? We're getting robbed. We are literally getting robbed. I didn't press anything. Are you kidding me? For that? A penalty for that? You know what? Let's take a look at the instant replay. So look at this. This is why the ref gave a penalty. And you know the funny thing about this? I did not press the sliding challenge button. That animation is for a block. And the player decided to block the shot on its own. And because of that, we're now conceded a penalty. Like, what even is this game? Our Premier League title race could go down the drain if we cannot save this. This is it, David De Gea's moment. He absolutely needs to save this one, but he cannot. And I can't even blame him for this. And there you go. It's done. Premier League title race down the drain. We've got 40 minutes to try and save it. Pogba finding Jan Felix, who's basically been anonymous so far in this game. But here goes Felix, cuts this one back. How went we scored that? What? How has Andrew Benemis put that in? That was his chance for redemption, but he missed. We could have a chance here on the counter. Here's Jan Felix. We know he's quick, finds Lingard. Now in behind to Ronaldo who is onside. Ronaldo finding Marcus Rashford. Could be our final chance of the game. Cut back to Jesse Lingard. How has this shot been blocked like that? Disgrace. That's the best way to describe our performance today. We've lost to Newcastle at Old Trafford in a game where we absolutely needed the win to keep pressure against Everton. But we just couldn't do that. And now the title race is done and dusted. Everton are probably going to win the league. I cannot believe we've let this happen. As good as we've been in the Champions League, we've been super inconsistent this season in the Premier League and even in the FA Cup, basically domestically. Next season for Season 3, that needs to change. It does seem like the title race is over. Everton have a four-point advantage over us now with three games to go and we've still got games like Man United, Chelsea at Stamford Bridge left and I can't see us closing the gap down. Fair play to Everton. Who would have thought they'd actually go ahead and win the Premier League? There's still a chance we can make the comeback but I don't see it happening. Our focus now should 100% be on the Champions League. We need to win this competition, otherwise we're going to go trophyless. We were alive in three competitions at the start of the video, and now probably just in one. It's, it's actually embarrassing, but at the same time, in the Champions League, we are balling out. We've got to continue this way. Even though our defense is very high rated at this point, I kind of feel like our defending was the reason why we didn't win the league, because we scored... I think the most goals in the league if I'm not wrong like convincingly but we just couldn't keep enough clean sheets and that cost us so maybe next season we will see a big centre back joining Manchester United. If you guys have any suggestions let me know. In fact it's not even close. We scored 76 goals this season and the second best goal scoring team was Liverpool with 58 so I think defending was definitely our problem. Because we used Ronaldo and of course Pogba in that game against Newcastle, their fitness levels are really low now and they just cannot play this one against PSG. Thankfully we do have the 3-0 advantage. So what I'm going to do is exactly this. So this is our team for this one. Dembele starts out left, Chong on the right and Anthony Martial returns to playing striker for us after a long time. The last time he played in that position, if I'm not wrong, he scored a couple of goals. So I'm pretty confident he can get the job done there for us. We've got our ward play. 
playing in Cam, Saul, Casemiro and the rest of the team is just the Gala 11. So that's our team. Let's get that qualification to the finals. That's the PSG team we're up against. They've brought in Milik instead of Icardi. Gundogan comes into the lineup as well. The defense is looking good. I mean, that attack is just crazy. If there's one team that can overturn a 3-0 deficit right now in this series, it's probably PSG, so we need to be careful. On the attack we go. We could end this game off right now itself. Here's Awar. Does brilliantly. Finds Usman Dembele who volleys at home and let's go. We've made it 4-0 on aggregate and it seems like it's done and dusted. We're playing away at the Parc des Princes but the team doesn't care at all. We're getting the job done. It seems like we are destined to get to that Champions League final. We've been knocked out from the Premier League and the FA Cup. This is the only competition we're alive in and we need to give 100% in this. 4-0 now on aggregate. It seems like we're going to get to that finals. Martial finding Chong now. The question is, can he control it? Yes, he gets there. Puts in a cross to Awar, who's... What? How on earth is Buffon saved that? That's probably one of the most ridiculous saves I've seen in career mode in a long time. Fair play to Buffon. Not good. Cavani might have a chance here to, you know, get some dignity back by scoring maybe. Neymar flicks it, shoots, but even that couldn't go in. Jao Cancelo with the block. PSG literally playing for pride now because I can't see them scoring six now. So they're just trying to get a consolation goal or two and it's still not working for them. We've been brilliant defensively. Mbappe now could cross it in. Finds Milik, shoots. Now Jao Cancelo again saves today. PSG, man, I feel bad for them because they've created so many chances over the course of these two legs. But the ball just wouldn't go in. Oh, we've given away a chance to Cavani and PSG finally score. They get themselves the equaliser in this game, but we still have a 4-1 advantage. So things are looking pretty good, at least so far for us. So let's keep it going. But that's that for this one. We are through to the Champions League finals. We've made the Champions League finals, guys. Finally, last season we got knocked out in the semis by Real Madrid. But this season, we ain't having that, guys. Finals of the Champions League. I'm eager to find out who we'll be facing. It was a professional performance from us in this second leg. We got the draw. The job was done at Old Trafford. We just needed to, you know, get through this game without a disaster. And we did exactly that. I cannot wait for the Champions League finals, guys. Wow, I'm actually surprised because Real Madrid managed to get past Atletico Madrid 2-2 and through on away goals. That's actually insane. We'll be facing Real Madrid in the Champions League final. Can we get revenge over them? Because they were the team that knocked us out from the Champions League last season and beating them in the final would be poetic. So I'm really hoping it's possible. Can't wait for that final. If you guys want the Champions League final special episode tomorrow itself, you guys need to drop a like on this video. Thousand likes and I'll get it to you guys tomorrow itself. So go down there and drop a like on the video. We're going to have the season finale tomorrow. Our quest for the Premier League title. It's not looking good, but we're going to give it our all. And then, of course, the Champions League final to try and win at least one trophy this season. The biggest one, of course. A quick season goals update. So we had only two remaining objectives and we've basically completed both of them. Now, although the Champions League isn't done yet, Ronaldo has 13 goals already this season, which means he's got five more than Griezmann and there's no way Griezmann's scoring six in the final. So Mr. Champions League is basically done. And also 80 goal contributions done and dusted with our French players. So this season, we've managed to complete four season goal objectives. Not bad at all. And we won't have to do any sort of four. Feet. Before we end off the episode, time for you guys to vote for your inform player of the episode. And after a lot of time, you guys have been wanting this. David De Gea gets the nomination for player of the episode. I thought he was superb for us, especially in the Champions League. He made some phenomenal saves. And there you go. He finally gets his deserved nomination. And your second nominee is going to be Dembele, who again was decisive in this episode with his assists and goals. So those two are your nominees. Click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. And that is that for this episode. Next episode, we're going to have one last push for the Premier League title. I'm not sure if it's possible, but we're going to give it our all. The Champions League final, the season finale. It's going to be one hell of an episode. And if you guys are excited, make sure to drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I shall see you guys next time.